every other one I had let grown up, but I made several like one comb splits uh, about five weeks ago. Okay. Yep. How, how do you know what the queen is made of? What do we, what do we look for? Eggs. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it, okay. Yeah, even if she is like looking lo larger and like she is fertilized, you know, right. you gotta look for eggs to make sure that she's the... Well, and, and, and then little, eventually cap like fruit, because just because she's laying eggs doesn't mean that they're Exactly, yeah. That, those eggs you have to look for that whole, mm -hmm. that whole cycle. You should have about one part <laughs> eggs to two parts open brood to four parts cap fruit if they're growing. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit of nectar in here since they've... Uh, They've arrived, but notice I didn't have to use any smoke on this little baby, and I'm not—I don't really need to use any tools either to get into them. <laughs> so even though that these are a small population, they have good nectar. And a couple times I've looked at them this week, there's no sign of any brood diseases or any stress from being this small. This is not a viable cluster going into winter, but I figured probably in the next month or so they probably will be by by then. But regardless, I think I'm gonna take this new. How many boxes do you need for winter? I'd say at least two or three of these full of bees. And I can, you know, keep raising queens. I could steal this queen out of here and drop in a cell and keep raising queens probably up into through September, but and then combine them with others. Or stop right now and let them grow up and reach that critical mass that they need. But I don't want to leave these open for too long, but we can probably find the queen in here. But I've been doing a lot of these for my little beekeeping boot camps because they're just cute as can be, you know. <laughs> and the spotty brood that you see in here is probably because of the small population that they just aren't making that much food. You know, like the difference between 20,000 bees and 40,000 bees, that hive with 40,000 bees is going to make five times the amount of honey that that hive with 20,000 bees. That, the hive with 20,000 bees, this doesn't even have, you know, three, four thousand, something like that. But, uh, you know, they might, you know, not even make enough honey for themselves. That's often the case with nukes. And, you can split one hive into ten, certainly, if you're willing to feed quite a bit. Here's our queen right here. When did you put her in? Probably six, six or seven weeks ago. It was a queen cell, I think, that my friend Tim raised. If anyone's looking for queen cells raised from Vermont or Maine, I have friends, my friends Tim and Cara both raising them from some treatment-free stock that I've given them because they're grafting two or three times a week and they're really well set up for it. So I just want to make sure that we weren't going to grab her, but I did want to get a little bit of nectar because I'm going to transfer. It's not much nectar, but I got some plans for this, <laughs> this little nuke. I'm thinking about just stealing the, uh, this top bar nuke underneath here, which is really full of bees. I'm just going to move that to a new spot. Their field force is going to come back and boost this little nuke. We'll do that after we do our package, but in the meanwhile... So it doesn't sound like they have much storage in there? No. No, but they got brood. But I'm going to really boost their field force, but... I'm just going to take a little bit of nectar out of here. Get something to this hive that we're going to convert. So shaking uh, just a, a, a top bar, <clears throat> does it stay intact most of the time? We'll find no out. No frame around it? <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm using a, a bit more smoke than I usually do. It's so doing this. Well, it's early and oh, no. it's not great for the weather and I'm surrounded by people <laughs> watching. But don't, don't make any excuses for using smoke. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, like, if you do get stung, I'm not going to apologize a hundred times. I'll just say, like, I'm sorry for every sting you get. <laughs> now, what's the spacer thing you got going on? Just didn't feel like putting it back together right, I believe. <laughs> oh, I see. It's not some special energetic V technique to channel the corpses. <laughs> Well, it could be. I think he spent a long time up? constructing that. Screen bottom. I got my one, uh, a little bit of nectar in one of these combs that we stole. And as they, these combs grow down again, they're going to wrap around this stick. 
So you tap that tag with iron in the book. You could use Sometimes. the same kind of sticks down below, right? Sure. I just don't feel like cutting that many sticks. <laughs> the screen bottom is what is the function of that? that uh, well, stand? especially when they're a nuke size, you know, it's a, this is a very small hive to keep. So having um, some empty airspace under there, it keeps them getting too hot. It's a really cool. Okay. It keeps them thinking that they maybe they do have a little more room to grow, less likely to swarm. And especially when I'm moving them, I'll cork up the entrance and they have a screen bottom so they can breathe just fine. Oh, I see. So it's, yeah, it's a, it's a couple of There's a white, yeah. there's a white. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're about to put new ones in, so then you... Uh-huh. Yeah, we're going to find it. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's not that. No, 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 so you've got no queen there. Not yet. You're gonna shake, shake. So I'm just gonna shake them right on top. And when I find the queen, I'm just gonna let her run on in. I want to get some bees. <laughs> get <them> started. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Need some more fuel? Oh, well, I just want to get one more puff of that one. Probably be good for this one. Well, why did you put the, the aluminum there? Shouldn't they run in better without it? I think they run better if it's dark. Oh, I yeah. see. Yeah. Oh. So I'll go through this real quick and we'll find our queen, get her in here right now, and then we'll shake the rest of them soon. <laughs> But this is what I call a, a decent brood pattern. And that came from this hive being crowded and stuff. Decent, not not great. No, oh, it, it looks pretty pretty excellent. So now, what do the holes indicate to you? Those are heater holes. Uh, Bees go in there and, and rev up their wing muscles to, to keep them warm. But you always see. I mean, if the flow's not on, your brood will probably get spotty and it'll look kind of junky. But then when the flow comes on again, it'll usually clears up. That's what I see in mine. Really? I just, you just don't worry about so it. So it's a anymore. flow, <laughs> a function of flow if, if you've got lots of holes? Um, maybe. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. One, it could it's be nutrition. They'll, they'll tear down a, a bit more brood or not lay as well when the, you know, they're not getting fresh nothing nectar. To, nothing all, to feed. Yeah, it all has to do with the nectar flow. I mean, in my, the nectar flow, not the honey stores? Yeah, not the honey. No, no. It's a, a, fresh nectar is a lot different. These need stim, uh, stimulation. Ah, so for broodering, you need nectar, not honey. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they, they will raise it, and, but you know, for, for having really healthy looking great fruit. So you haven't seen the queen yet? Nope. I've only looked at my third one. I'm not in the egg section yet, too. St. Miss Lawari, did you say that's queenless? That's why you're she's, she's on the light the comb. Which, which one? That one? There's nothing that, that, that was empty. That it was, was just, oh, it just was empty. empty. Oh, okay. It was queenless and empty. <laughs> Maybe on that one? Yeah. She's on the next comb. You see her running on down there. Seems like I can shake this one. You see the communication holes right there? You don't get that from foundation. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> No, he said the queen's in the next box. Yeah. Right, because he's still in that hive. And then he's going to put the queen in. I have some very up Where'd she go? She may let them move to the side. I can't move I think she jumped ship. The next hive, maybe? She's going to the next bar. Anybody else want to look? Actually, uh, yeah, once I'm done this, I'll, I'll talk about what I'm doing here again. I bet she ran to the back. She's going to the max again. No, I mean for the for your new one. You, how much are you going to shake out? Yeah. Queen's never in the festoon, is she? Have you ever seen Queen oh. in a festoon? When, she, when she's running from her, she might be. She could be might run across that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah rope bridge. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
So I totally missed what is what are you doing? <laughs> Looking for the queen. Yeah. But, but, I, and, I, and I glanced at her but then she ran. And I but, uh, on the side of the box. She can be on the side of the box too. Must be a Russian. Mm -hmm. She's rushing around. Mm -hmm. There she is. <laughs> yeah, on the last count. She's right there. She's a runner. That, that's a great looking queen. Oh, yeah. 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 So rather than caging her and ruining her day, I'm just going to let her run in here. So I'm run. Where did she go? She's still hanging on the bottom. <laughs> She's on the bottom. Yeah, they went to the other side, I think. Yeah, I think she's not on this. Yeah. She's moving. Wow. Wow. Yeah. She's on the move. She's wow, that was awesome. She's in. Okay. <laughs> so everyone stand back for a second. <laughs> So you just kind of pushed her in there with your finger? She, she went on her own, all by her lonesome. So this they've done in the past three days. Wow. Uh, no eggs being laid. I don't think there's a, all that much flow coming on. But still, I mean, these seem adequately mellow. So, I mean, a way that you can use this technique to split your own hives is have a, another box by your bees and during your swarm season, if you start to see, especially when you start to see queen cells and things like that, you know, put a couple combs of honey in your new box, have a way to screen them in, and just have the queen run onto those combs of honey and just start shaking bees. And a good, like, five or six shakes of bees that are pretty well covered with the combs, that's going to get you a pretty good swarm size. Get them going. <laughs> so the queen went into the box? Yep, she's in there. Well, you Holding down the reflectors, yeah. So the real question is, like, how strong do I want to make it, you know? Yeah, I was going to say, you got a lot. Yeah. I'll probably do another, this one and another one, and then I'm just going to combine this brood with that hive that we already stole the queen from. Oh, so you're basically oh. stripping this. You're stripping so, this. So, yeah, I mean, this is a way, especially if you are going to buy two nukes, this is a way you can get honey production and start some new hives. In the same year. If you say you get two five frame nukes, you let them each grow into ten frames, let them get strong. You can take one of those that, that's pretty plugged, shake them into a brand new hive. You can give them combs of honey or feed them. You can start a top bar, worry anything with that one. Then you'll have these combs of brood with no bees on it. You can double that onto your other hive. So in doubling the brood like that, you're also doubling mites and stuff. So often I'll steal the queen and let them give them a queen cell or let them raise their own. And that hive will probably be geared up for honey production in your later summer. So is summer. that a brood yeah. interruption mm -hmm. technique then? Yeah, so essentially you have, this is like the hive that, that swarmed, you know. Oh no, this is like the, the swarm that's going in. The queen right. just arrived there, but there's no brood or anything. Like going into this old comb so that breaks, just like a That's dead one hive. way to break the mic cycle. Yeah, and this is like catching a swarm. And this is like the hive that did swarm with quite a bit of brood. It's raising their own queen. And you know, they'll backfill the brood nest, and once she gets mated, ideally at the peak of your main flow, they'll start making lots of comb honey to give her room to lay. So in your first year, if you have two nukes and combine them that way, you can maybe get some honey production, unless it rains for a month, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna do one more and call it good. He said Queen as part of the package. And the second high, 